updates on the Lapis Lake side. So happy for this event. And look how goddamn cute the Pokemon are. It's going to be a two week long event. So avoid going to Cyan Beach and Topolo. I'm gonna save all my Poke Biscuits. Hello everyone. I am so excited because I saw that we got some mail in this app. So I wasn't going to film today because it's Wednesday. So a hump day, I was gonna take it easy. But as I was doing my dailies, I opened up the news and they gave us updates on the Lapis Lake side. So I thought I got to do this together with you guys. So let's see. New area, Lapis Lake side. We have been so excited for this. A new place, more Pokemon. What's not to love, right? So it's been reported that a new area, Lapis Lake side, has been found and it's likely you'll encounter new Pokemon there. We hope you complete a sleep style dex goal and further your sleep research at Lapis Lakeside. So they are going to release this new area on the 24th, which is next week on Wednesday. So the requirement for unlocking this area is to have unlocked 240 different sleep styles. I do not know where I am on that. And some sleep type of Pokemon you can now meet. So these are the Pokemon. Dozing type, you'll see Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite. Mm -hmm. For snoozing, you'll see Routes, Curlia, and Gardevoir. I'm so excited about Gardevoir. And then the slumbering type will be Stuffle, Beware, and Gallade. Pretty cool. So Snorlax's favorite berries in this place will be the Durinberry, Magoberry, and Cherryberry. So Grass, Psychic, and Fighting. And I don't have any good fighting Pokemon that I've been trying to raise, so gotta get on that. And now for the exciting part, you guys, I'm so, so, so excited for this. I mean, look how cute Routes, Dratini, and stuff will look especially Stuffle on its hind legs like that <sighs> has my heart. So this is an opportunity to research Lapis Lakeside on Greengrass Isle. Even better is that it's going to be a two week long event from Monday, January 29th till Monday, February the 12th. So very great. Last week of January is when it's going to start. So Dratini, Routes, and Stuffle, who live at Lapis Lakeside, will also appear on Greengrass Isle during the Lapis Lakeside opening event. So note, regarding Dratini, Routes, and Stuffle, after the event, they will no longer appear during the sleep research on Greengrass Isle, except when using that Pokemon's incense. So through limited time research during the event, you can get great rewards such as Dratini Incense, Routes Incense, and Stuffle Incense. At this time, we have two sets of missions, week one missions and week two missions. So another note, the limited time missions are available in all areas. Oh, interesting. Regarding Dratini Incense, Routes Incense, and Stuffle Incense, once a week has passed after the event, you will no longer be able to use them on Greengrass Isle. If you haven't yet unlocked Lapis Lakeside, we recommend that you use these incense on Greengrass by 1 p.m. on Monday. Interesting. So week one missions, here's some information on that. And then week two missions will begin during this time frame. So how to progress in the event, participating in the event is easy. Just like every other event, you, sleep, you press the sleep button on Greengrass Isle before going to sleep during the event period to track your sleep. So note that if you track your sleep on other areas other than Greengrass or Lapis Lakeside during the event, you will not meet Dratini, Routes, or Stuffle in your sleep research. So avoid going to Cyan Beach and Topalo. So Pokemon that are easier to encounter during this event, slightly greater appearance rate will be Dratini, Routes, and Stuffle. And then to researchers who have unlocked Lapis Lakeside, so that is not me, 
If you want to encounter Dratini routes or Stuffle, we recommend that you research at Lapis Lakeside. Hmm. You're more likely to encounter these Pokemon there than on Greengrass Isle during the event period. Now, I understand that they would recommend this, but assuming that Lapis Lakeside is as hard or if not harder than the Tundra, which I've heard is like really hard, it's going to be tough to really raise your Snorlax, especially without the event, um, the area bonus. So your sleepy power, drowsy power isn't going to be as high, right? So the number of Pokemon you will encounter will be shorter too. Well, smaller. So is it really better? But I guess so, even if it's like you spawn three a day or four a day, the chances will still be higher. But yeah, Lapis Lakeside. Let me know if you guys who are able to go at Lapis Lakeside, are you going to go there? Or are you going to stay at green grass? Now, notes about the Lapis Lakeside opening event. So we have four important bulletins here. Each day at the Lapis Lakeside event rolls over at 4 a.m. If you track your sleep on areas other than green grass or Lapis, you won't meet the special Pokemon, the event Pokemon. After the event, Dratini, Routes, and Stuffle will no longer appear during Greengrass Isle, except when using that Pokemon's incense. And once a week has passed after the event, you will no longer be able to use those incense on Greengrass Isle. So we have like, that's like three weeks time frame that you could use the incense before you're not able to use them anymore. So I guess it's like kind of nice to get that extra opportunity of encountering, encountering those Pokemon. But let me know what you guys are most excited for. I'm super excited for Routes, but Stuffle is so cute as well. And Dratini, honestly, I'm excited for all of them. So really going to be interesting to see how the tier list shifts around as well what Lapis Lakeside is going to look like, the music, the decor. Super, super exciting guys. So let me know which area you will be finding yourself at during this event. What Pokemon are you very focused, tunnel visioned on gathering? I'm gonna save all my Poke Biscuits. So the only time I'll really be using them is premium biscuits so there's that and in terms of which pokemon i want to prioritize the most i mean whichever shows up i'm going to try to catch right but in a in a good scenario in a perfect world if i'm able to catch all three and just gather gather them in my pokedex i'm going to really focus on routes because i want to raise a really good gardevoir and how sick would it be if it's a shiny gardevoir so that's what's going to happen. I'm so excited. I know you guys are very excited as well. Events are always so much fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, good luck, and have a beautiful day. Bye.